Hey guys, it's Mo. So today I have for you another video tutorial in Silhouette Studio. Today we're going to be using freepick.com, which is a free vector site that you can get vector images to use as clip art in the Silhouette Design software. We're also going to use Inkscape to make those into files that software for Silhouette software can read. And we're going to pretend today that I do not have the designer edition of Silhouette Studio where you can open SVG files. We are going to create PNG files from the vectors that we download from P free pick in Inkscape. I know that sounds like a lot, but it is really, really easy. Inkscape is a free illustration program that you can download. Um, I believe you go to inkscape.org. I will leave it down in the description below just so you can find it. So I've already gone to free pick. Uh, free pick is a free vector website. If you subscribe to them, if you pay a fee monthly, you can have a premium account where you don't have to a credit or add attribution or credit to the designer of free pick icons you can or not icons but clip art you can use it you don't have to you're sort of paying the licensing fee for it if you want to use it for free you can you just have to attribute it to or the design to free pick and that the website has all the information on how to attribute or how to use the attribution if I could speak today for the images that you use. So I just downloaded these fun, friendly dinosaurs and they are actually in my downloads here. Nice cartoon dinosaurs. And we're going to open this AI file in Inkscape. So I'm just going to double click it here. It's going to bring up a dialog box. I'm going to leave all of this the same. I'm just going to hit OK and it's going to open up the friendly, what are they called? Nice cartoon dinosaurs in its own little box here. So what we want to do is I just zoomed in a little bit delete everything that we can right now that we're not going to use we weren't I'm not personally I'm not going to use that background I'm not going to use um, where it says design by free pick so I'm going to make sure I have everything highlighted here you can even drag your mouse click and drag your mouse to select all we're going to right click and select ungroup and you want to do that enough times to where you have all the little wavy lines around it so I am going to take this little, what is he called? A brontosaurus? Is that what those are called? Kind of looks like the Loch Ness Monster. Um, I'm going to erase his little shadow because I just want the little dude. I'm going to take, uh, use some commands here and hit Control G. That's going to group them together. I'm going to lock the uh, aspect ratio, which means you can drag him and he's not going to get distorted. Now, this is... Um, this is an AI file, but what we could do is convert it into an SVG file. And that is a scalable vector graphic. Graphic, I believe, is what SVG stands for. I could be making that up. So that means at any width and height, it's going to have the best print quality it can have. What we're going to do, because Basic Edition of Silhouette Software cannot open an SVG, we're going to make this guy just a little bit bigger so... I doubt we will ever have a sticker that is, let's change this to inches, seven inches high by seven inches wide almost. I doubt you're going to want a dinosaur sticker that wide. So what we're going to do is go to file. It should be over here in my little toolbar here, but we're going to go to file, export PNG image. That's going to bring this section up here. And you can see as I scale this guy, these numbers change. So whoops, as I scale him, the numbers there change. What you want to do is make sure he's away from all his other friends. You want to make sure it says pixels at 300 DPI. That is a really great print quality. Um, you could make it bigger, but that's a great print quality, especially if you raise the size of this guy here. So we're going to go to export as. I've created a folder called Dino, and I'm just going to name him Dino1. I'm going to hit save. We have not saved it yet, though. You need to click export. That exports your image. And now we have it in our dino folder. I'm going to open up Silhouette Studio, and I'm going to drag this dino over into Silhouette Studio. So you can make him smaller. For example, you probably would want to make him, I don't know. I don't know how big you want to make him. You can probably make it a inch. It depends on how you want to see him in your planner or what kind of design you're going for. For this, I'm going to make him bigger just so we don't have to zoom in. Um, you would think, okay, this has a transparent background. If I go to Offset, I should be able to offset the image and it'll trace around this dude here. If we do go to offset, it's offsetting it as a square behind this guy because this is a square sort of file. You can see these points here. It's a square file. So we're going to delete this. Whoa, not him. We're going to delete this guy here. 
What you can do is go to the trace option, select trace area, trace your dude. Sometimes I have to bring this down farther to get it to trace all the way. Now you want to go to trace outer edge. And that has traced the outer edge of your little dinosaur guy. You can see that faint red line. If I move that away, that's your faint red line. So we're going to drag and select all. I'm going to hold down the shift key and unselect the green, bluish, teal dinosaur. Now all we have selected is the trace option. So I'm going to undo all that stuff that I just did. <laughs> I was just trying to show you, and now I've ruined everything. Okay, so now we have that back in place. Now, if we go to the offset option, you can go offset, and it's going to trace, it's going to create the offset around the trace that we just did. And you can see the higher this number, the higher the distance between the dinosaur and your cut line. So when you scale this down and you're doing an offset, it's going to be a little bit different. So you might have to change the numbers and whatnot. Now we can drag and select everything. You're going to hold down the shift key unselect your blue dinosaur guy, unselect the outside trace or the outside offset. This might take a bit. I might be clicking the wrong buttons here. And then we're going to hit delete. Yep, I didn't do it right. Okay, unselect that. Unselect your trace or unselect your offset and then hit delete. And then your trace is deleted. You can see there's not a faint red line around here. Now we can drag and select all, hit control G, same command as in Inkscape, and you have a sticker that's together and you can see it's going to cut as long as you set your cut lines it's going to cut around this guy you can scale him down and you can see as we scale him down you might have to change your um, offset you can see that's kind of tiny so I like to do my offset when I have him the size I would think I would want him to be but just to show you how that works I wanted to, to do it that way. Now I want to show you one that's a little bit more complicated. So we'll go back to this guy here. Let me get him. And I'm going to zoom out. I'll bring him over here. Control G. Make sure his aspect is locked. We'll make him a little bit bigger. Export as Dino 2. Click Export. And we'll go back to here, open up the dinos, bring him over. So I traced this one earlier and it's kind of hard to see. So we're going to go to the trace, set trace area, trace outer edge. And I don't know if you can see, but it traced all this crazy stuff here. So, um, Let's see if I can, I'm going to change the line color to something we can actually see. Okay, blue, that works. So we're going to, we can do the same, the same thing. We're going to select all this guy, hold down the shift, unselect the red dinosaur, go to offset, click on offset, get the offset where we want it. We'll make it 0.2. Whoops. Apply. So now we have this weird offset stuff going on. What you want to do is you want to click on the offset here. Let's see if we can get it. And you want to go right click. Let's see if we can click on. Okay, so we just clicked. What I just did was click on the internal trace that we did in order in the first step to get the offset going. And I deleted that because we don't need that anymore. If you leave that in there, it's going to create a cut line. That's the same thing we did from here when we selected like this and selected everything but that inner trace and deleted that inner trace. So there's not that outline around the dinosaur anymore. Now what you want to do is select this outer offset line and right click and click release compound path. That's going to break up all of the blue items that we have. So now we have this squiggly shape in here. We have the outer shape of the dinosaur. We have this little nose shape here. And what you want to do is hold down the shift key and unselect the outer offset and then hit delete. And that's going to delete everything on the inside. We can hit control G. And now once we set our cut lines or once we set our cut settings, it's going to cut this outer image here. So you can go over to your cut lines. I always go to advance and I say, okay, I want to cut the blue at a certain depth and the red at a certain depth. Usually I would have them set at the same color. So 
let's go here. I'm going to ungroup these guys. We're going to grab this offset, I think. Set the line color to red. It's going to be two different reds. Let's do this guy here. Ungroup. Make that the same red for the sake of the video. And we'll go over to the cut lines. We'll go to advance. And now all my reds are going to cut at this depth. What I normally do is I set it to, it doesn't really matter. I set it to washi sheets. And then I set my actual physical blade in the machine to 2, the speed at 7, and the thickness at 6. That's for my sticker paper. That's how my sticker paper works. It could be different for everybody else's sticker paper. So then it will cut around the edge here. So that is how to use a free pick image as a vector file, open it in Inkscape, open the vector file in Inkscape, delete the things that you don't need, break up the image, export a PNG, open the PNG in Silhouette Software Basic, trace it, create an offset, and have an offset sticker without owning the Pro Edition or Designer Edition, I guess it is. I think it's $50 for Silhouette Studio. So I hope this video was concise and I hope it was helpful. The next video is going to be about how to do the same thing in um, designer edition and it's going to be a lot more helpful um so if you have it's going to or it's going to be sort of the same but it's going to be different because we're going to be opening svg files and i can show you how to change colors and stuff like that if you want to change the color of this dinosaur you're not going to be able to change the color in silhouette studio you will have to go over here ungroup him go to your fill and stroke whoops fill and stroke and change the color using the wheel over here then highlight them all make sure he's away from all his friends export them in a new file with the new colors so that's how you're going to have to do that there's a little bit of limitations but if you're satisfied with what you have downloaded from freepick you can totally convert it into a png and use it in your silhouette software um, it's really really awesome so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you did go ahead and subscribe i try to put up a bunch of different tutorials uh planner stuff sticker stuff it's a really fun channel to hang out on so i'd love for you to follow me on snapchat peach instagram and twitter it's at 516 on everything i'll talk to you on my next video thanks for watching bye